everything you need to know about how vasopressin works in almost 60 seconds. Vasopressin, also called ADH, is a naturally occurring hormone that is synthesized in the hypothalamus and released from the posterior pituitary gland. It plays a significant role in the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, but we won't get too in the weeds. Vasopressin is inherently different than our other vasopressors because it is a non-catecholamine. It has no direct effect on the sympathetic nervous system. We primarily use vasopressin when there is a refractory shock state to traditional catecholamine vasopressors. Vasopressin works by directly stimulating the V1 receptor in vascular smooth muscle, causing peripheral vasoconstriction. The V1 receptor in vascular smooth muscle is a G-protein coupled receptor. More specifically, the V1 receptor is linked to the GQ G-protein, and when this receptor is stimulated, it increases phospholipase C, leading to increased intracellular calcium. And this is what's responsible for the peripheral vasoconstriction. In patients who do not have refractory hypotension or renin-angiotensin-aldosterone axis dysfunction, vasopressin does not significantly increase blood pressure. And specifically in anesthesia, we use this medication when our patients have refractory hypotension to our traditional catecholamine vasopressors like phenylephrine or norepinephrine. There's so much more I can say about this. Comment below for a part two.